Previously on Choose Adventure, California style. Why are we stopping? Oh, something's happening right now. And now, here's vlog two. Good morning, second full day in Disneyland. We're gonna start off in DCA, then go over to Disneyland. Right now we're at the Hotel Anaheim Hotel and I'm going to get us some coffee. We're at Denny's. Brittany's gonna get Genie Pass. We're gonna try it today, right Brittany? Genie Plus, I also got sunglasses. Apparently I had some in my bag. I don't like them though. So Genie Plus is essentially Fast Pass, what Fast Pass used to be. Lightning Pass is completely separate. It's between seven and twenty dollars per ride. So it's currently nine fifty-seven. We got soaring Just for what eleven? Eleven oh five. Eleven oh five. Let's see how Genie Plus works. Mom, did you know Son. that there's an original from the Disneyland Hotel Oak Tree right here? Where? That's been replanted. Which one is it, Paul Parsons? Right. So right by the Buena Vista Street is this tree, this oak tree that used to be planted right by the Disneyland, the original Disneyland Hotel. Found a sunglass hut, let's check it out. Normally I don't spend that much money on glasses though. 50 bucks tops. I was hoping I could find some for like 70 or 80 bucks but the cheapest glasses were like 178. No glasses. We're still in the search of glasses, I hate these. All right, Brittany and I are doing Goofy's Fly School. Is that what it's called? My parents didn't want to do it. They said they're too scared. This is one of these rides where it looks like you're gonna fall off. Freak. <laughs> I think arguably that's the scariest ride in Disneyland. <laughs> what do you think? The Incredicoaster is the scariest one for me, but I'll do it. Galaxy. I think that's the scariest ride in Disneyland, scary. what do you think? It is very, yeah. Because when you go around the turns and like the car leaves, I didn't yeah. like that ride. And you look like you're going to fall off. Okay, okay, so let's get your opinion. What's the scariest ride in Disneyland? Hey, it is goofy. <laughs> it's like a real scary. Some of the other stuff, ooh, that's scary, but that's like, it is falling. <laughs> Crowds in DCA this morning, very minimal. So we're starting off our second day essentially just taking a walk around DCA. Kind of like the train ride at uh, Disneyland, we're just taking it all in. That essentially sums me up, an emotional whirlwind. So Brittany's on the search of a sweatshirt. Aww. That's cute. I love it, you love it. How much Brittany? 24. That's what the other one was too, is 24. Mm -hmm. One look at the smoke is a is medium. Nice pro tip is on a busy day, you can grab a beer or coffee, head on in here, lots of places to hang out, and not that busy. Grizzly Peak elevation gain, 2,001 feet. That's the year it opened, 2001. Can you believe that? So Genie Plus update, while we went in soaring, we were able to book another reservation for Toy Story Mania. Toy Story Mania. So once we you get on a ride, you can book yeah, you another it. ride. Look at, can you believe all the stuff in here? Canoe? I can't canoe it. Okay, while waiting in line, we were ready. We were able to book Big Thunder Mountain in less than an hour in Disneyland. That's me! Best vehicle, that's me! So after one o'clock, everybody can park hop and uh, more people are coming in than going out. Crowds coming over aren't too bad. Thank you. Brittany might have found her sweatshirt. I like it. You like this one better than the gray? Yeah, I do. Congratulations. Thank you. 54 point. There's antlers on top of the trading post because back in the day people couldn't read so they put the antlers up there 
to let people know it's trading post. Right in front of the silver spur supplies is the Ray Bradbury tree that decorated for Halloween. I finally got it. I've been trying to get it this whole time. Here's the monorail. I'm trying. I'll find you. I'll never stop searching. I love you. Okay, let's go. Lightning Lane. Big Thunder Mountain, one of my favorites. So far, Genie Plus is a hit. We're walking right on. That guy's got a great looking beard right there. Fantastic. We don't know if he's the captain, but he should be. It looks like it. Great looking beard. Thanks. The Mark Twain River boat is a 12 minute cruise around the rivers of America and one of my favorite places to chill if you need time off your feet or time away from the crowds. It's 105 feet long and 28 feet tall. The Mark Twain's maiden voyage was on July 13, 1955 for a celebration of Walt and Lillian's 30th wedding anniversary. Mark Twain was named Mark Twain after the famous author Samuel Clemens and Walt's personal hero. Samuel Clemens, or Mark Twain, was a riverboat pilot as a young man. Mark Twain is a riverboat term that means a vessel is at a safe depth. The maximum capacity of people on board it can be 300 people. They found this out when they loaded 500 people on at one time and it almost capsized. When the Mark Twain was built, it was the first functional paddle wheeler built in the United States in 50 years. The dry dock is named Fowler's Harbor, named after Joe Fowler, Disneyland's construction supervisor and a former Navy Admiral. During construction, corporate funds fell short and Walt Disney paid out of his own pocket to finish the project. A major overhaul was done in the spring of 1995, which all the decks and the boiler was replaced. The riverboat burns diesel fuel, which continuously heats water into steam, which is then routed to two pistons that turn the paddle wheel. Spent exhaust is then routed back to the boiler. The boat does ride on an I-beam track that's hidden under the water. The Mark Twain has three speed settings, slow, fast, and phantasmic. Phantasmic is used during the show, phantasmic. Every Disney park around the world has their own version of the Mark Twain Riverboat. We don't know when the next time is we're going to get to ride the monorail since it's going to be shut down for the refurbishment of downtown Disney. So let's ride the monorail. Just pulled into the station. Maybe it is coming back, resurfacing this winter. Interesting, Finding Nemo. So for those of you that don't know, you can get free water in most establishments. How many? One out of five. Genie Plus, it's paying off. It says, beware the eye of Mora. Bernie, pull it. It'll work. So coming up, if you're disabled or you're unable to do stairs, you can just ask to go through this gate right here and take the elevator. Brandy has a pretty obvious disability. technical difficulties. This vehicle right here is the actual vehicle that was used in the movies. Here at Rancho de Zocalo, de Zocalo, however you say it. It's not on the menu, but it's down here. The tostada salad, which is what we're gonna get. It is here. So it's a good spot to sit too, right by Big Thunder Railroad. The chicken I thought was 
very minuscule too. It wasn't that much. At dinner, we were able to get Star Tours. Keep it moving, keep it moving. Well, that's going to do it for our second full day in the parks. Technically, our third day on vacation. Tomorrow is our fourth and last day on vacation. So one more full day in the parks. We're going to start in Disneyland, go to DCA, and we're going to finish our day at Wine Tour T. I, I don't know how to say it. I'll put it right here. Brittany, what else? All right, with that being said, I'll see you guys tomorrow, our last full day here at the Disneyland Resort. Make sure you're subscribed and stay tuned to the next episode where I continue to point out famous Disneyland trees, monorails, Brittany learns how to use a dingle hopper, I attempt to get the highest score on Buzz Lightyear ever, and do we pay extra money to ride Rise of the Resistance? We'll see you guys on the next adventure. <laughs> <laughs>